Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Apple's March Patch Day. Today, Apple released security updates for many of their products, including all of their operating systems, which of course include the server and desktop versions of OS X, iOS, their mobile operating system, Watch OS, and TV OS. They also released updates for Safari, their browser, and Xcode, which is their development environment. Now, these updates fix many vulnerabilities. For example, just the OS X desktop update fixes 59 vulnerabilities. And these are things that could even allow attackers to remotely execute code. For example, say you join the wrong Wi-Fi network or maybe view a malicious uh, PDF document, bad guys might leverage these vulnerabilities to uh, remotely execute code on your computer. Now, the flaw that's getting the most attention is a iMessage encryption flaw. Apparently, researchers at the John Hopkins University found and helped Apple fix a number of cryptography flaws in iMessage, which of course is their, their chatting and texting-based client that comes with iOS and OS X. Now, I won't go into a ton of details on these flaws. If you want to see the details, they released a deep white paper, and I'll even put up an article where you can find a little bit more about these flaws in more basic language. But basically, these flaws could potentially allow sophisticated actors to actually decrypt iMessages, including maybe iMessages that you've communicated long time in the past. However, in order to exploit these flaws, the sophisticated actor has to do a man-in-the-middle attack and actually gain the raw ciphertext of these sorts of messages. And by the way, Apple servers send these messages using TLS, which is a form of encryption. So while it is possible in various attack scenarios for a bad guy to actually man-in-the-middle this type of secure communication, it's really very hard. So I don't really think this iMessage flaw will affect many people. Nonetheless, if you're an Apple user and you're concerned with any of these issues, you definitely want to update your Apple devices as soon as possible, or just let the Apple software updater do it for you. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.